Hi, hello, how's it going? Oh, my cup in the frame. Um, this is my beverage for the day. I made a peppermint mocha uh, in this beautiful mug that my friend Amanda made for me. Um, and today I wanted to do a video I have wanted to do for a minute uh, since I saw this like floating around, but things have been busy, as I mentioned. Uh, my friend Amanda was here in Montreal, and so that was lovely. It was amazing. Uh, but yeah, this is a video I've wanted to do for a while because I've seen other people do it, and I want in. Um, what's in my bag? Let's get into it. Okay, so this isn't like a daily carry because my daily routine is basically like going to work and going to university, and so I have a bigger, different tote bag for that, but this is generally like my weekend bag anytime I'm leaving my house without my laptop bag. It is this lovely tote bag from the CCA, which is the Canadian Center for Architecture. And um, I don't know if I can show you, let me hold this up properly. I really like this tote bag because I love when a tote bag has this seam at the bottom where it's almost like a rectangle at the bottom and has a base because I think it's like much easier to keep organized. Love this double handle situation. Um, here, if you wanna carry it, like a bunch of heavy stuff in there, great. And I think the real, real winner is that it has a pocket. So I'll usually put my phone in here um, and like a mask because yeah, I always feel nervous about my phone just like in my tote bag getting scratched up. So this is perfect for that. Um, and then always keep my keys on my tote bag, like hooked onto the strap because I have a little little clip. And then this, it's just this keychain that I found at the thrift store um, for like $2 and I love it. It's like, you know, sea creatures. Okay. So let's get into the contents of this bag. So first, I always carry my bullet journal um, here. And I always like to like have it with me in case I need to write anything down, um, in case I need to like plan what I'm doing tomorrow or the day after. Yeah, um, this is just like a Leuchtturm regular dotted um and then i put a bunch of stickers on it this sticker i'm obsessed with it is from out of line which is an art collective in dili i just did this sticker yeah love it um so that's this my bullet journal i always have a book on me whatever i'm reading at the moment which right now is Exquisite Mariposa by Fiona Allison Duncan. Really liking this, have a lot of thoughts about it. I'm like halfway through um, and I think I wanna do like a singular sit down review video of this, really like this, um, yeah. Of course, to go along with my journal, I always have writing utensils. This is my little pencil pouch and I every month will change out the pens I have in here to fit the theme that I'm going for in my bullet journal. <laughs> this is excessively nerdy. Um, but generally I will have this, which is a Micron 0.5, some type of Crayola marker, Pipsqueak, um, and Muji 0.7. I will also have like a brush pen. So just this like from the dollar store, honestly. Gray, another, another Pipsqueak and a pencil. So this is a pencil I got from Koj Studios in India and it says, why do we make art? Um, so that's that. Okay, then I will have my wallet, which is too big, but I don't have an ID, like a Canadian ID, I don't drive, and I don't have a state ID yet. Um, I need to get on that. So I always have to carry my passport around in case someone's like, I need to see ID. Uh, I'm very lucky I never lose things because that would be very risky business, but yeah, wallet. Soon we'll get an ID and have a more appropriately sized wallet. Um, always have a water bottle, just like, I don't know, I got this from my brother. 
and I always have my sunglasses. Um, I think I've mentioned this. I have really bad eyesight, like really terrible. Um, and so I always need to have my glasses on me and I always like to have sunglasses because my eyes are super sensitive. And these are just my, like they're just prescription sunglasses um, that I always keep on me. So that is that. And then the final item I have in my tote bag is this pouch. Um, this is from Miniso, which is like Daiso. I think you have Miniso in other countries, but I got this in India. Um, it's just like a bunch of fruit with eyes. And this is like, can't do without lifeline, everything I need, um, and a bunch of crap that I don't need, honestly. So first thing I have in here is post-its. This is how you know I haven't cleaned this out because there's just like gum wrappers in here. I'm sorry, that's kind of gross. I will throw that out. Um, okay, so I just have like this thing of post-its in case I'm reading something, I start a new book and I don't have a bookmark on me or I am reading something for work or my thesis or what have you and I wanna make a note and I can do that via these. Um, so that's the first thing. Then I have two different types of hand sanitizer. Don't ask me why. This is just one I got at the train station in India with my mom. And then this is one my aunt gave me. It is a Bath and Body Works, right? That's what they're called. Is it Bath and Body Works or is it Bed Bath and Beyond? Not sure. Pretty sure it's Bath and Body Works. Anyway, it's just this one. It's called Autumn Autumn Rainfall. Um, and yeah just hand sanitizer good to have i always get like really like anxious and like conscious about the fact that my hands are disgusting after i go on public transport um which like they're probably not that gross but in my mind i'm like oh my god they're just teeming with germs um anyway then i have this hand cream because if you hand sanitize a lot your hands will dry out a lot. Also just Montreal super dry. Like this is, I don't know if I mentioned this. When I went back to India, I was like, this is amazing. Like I look so good. My skin is healthy, hydrated. I thought all my hair was falling out when I was living here because like before I went back to India, I was like, oh my God, all my hair is falling out. Where is it? It was just, it was humidity. Like India has humidity. And so my hair was like back. Um, anyway. This is just a hand cream from Dollarama, the dollar store. Pretty standard. It, this is in the scent Cucumber Water. Uh, yeah, I like it. Good to have. And then I have a pack of gum, always. This is, I always like the five, five gum. I feel like it lasts super long. And sometimes if you get like flavors of gum that aren't mint, there's like a weird aftertaste that I don't like, um, but winter mint then i have this okay so this is a this is like a bottle for glasses cleaner um but i emptied out or i finished the glasses cleaning spray and i've just put some florida water in here which is like a cologne um like super like seven dollars and it smells like orange blossoms and cardamom i guess but i like this because this is alcohol based and i feel like if like especially now that it's like fall slash moving into winter soon um i feel like if i'm wearing a sweater and it's a bit damp outside i hate the way that it smells when i get inside so i like to spray this on to my sweaters and i feel like it's also like a good antibacterial like disinfectant thing since it's like alcohol based i don't know if that that's real or if that's in my mind but yeah this is i really like the way it smells also it's like a really good um layering scent like it's very like a i like a good orange spice note yeah then i have lip balm um this is just la roche posay like the oh my god <laughs> this thing it's just yeah lip balm classic um then i have two lip oils this is from quo quo beauty whatever it's just like a 
neutral like lip oil and then i have this one from nyx in the color newsfeed and this is like a red and i really like this it's very thick um it's like lip oil is basically gloss but i like i like this almost better than lip balm sometimes because i feel like lip balm um like soaks into your lips pretty quickly and this is pretty good like i feel like it stays on and keeps your lips like hydrated um so i have that then i have this that i got from my mom it's a revlon lip liner it's brown pretty classic yeah love it and then i have this maybelline super stay in some color and the color change is good number 85 and i really like this because i feel like this is a like your lips but better and a really good blush color as well if i'm ever out and i feel like i look pasty or i look like i am tired i will use this as blush more often than like a lipstick situation look at me in my beauty guru era um i have toothpaste uh just because if i'm ever out and like miss a bus and have to like crash at a friend's place or something i need to have toothpaste and like i'm sure they have toothpaste too but in case they don't um it's always just good sometimes you need to brush your teeth and like yeah do a quick little finger brush situation not ideal but you have to be prepared for worst case scenarios um then i just honestly have a bunch of like wrappers in here uh chewing gum wrappers garbage that i need to throw out and then i have a bunch of safety pins in case of um an outfit mishap or you know just adjusting someone might need it you never know good to be prepared so that is it those are all the things i have in my bag i hope this told you something about me maybe i hope that this was fun i hope you learned something about me this was super fun for me to do um i love i love stuff like this because i feel like it's so so telling about the type of person that you are uh, do you throw things in to a bag do you have separate compartments are you prepared for situations um honestly i am unprepared because normally i have a tide to go in here but i gave it to my dad because he needed it more than me um i'm not that messy of an eater but this man he needs it uh and so i don't have a tide to go normally i would put that in there as well yeah thank you so much for watching um let me know what's in your bag or what do you think i should put in my bag uh what am i missing uh what is your bag essential yeah let me know see you again very soon i want to do my october wrap up and then also do the end of the year book tag because the end of the year is approaching uh fast approaching in fact and yeah let's see what's what's going on i'm gonna stop talking I'm going to go make myself hot soup and stare out my window in case we get the first snow of the year. Um, weather app says it's likely. Uh, and yeah, just get on with my day. All right, bye. <laughs>